securities present, or well, not present here, but we do have everybody here outside. And I do know that all the attorneys and parties are present as well. Uh, Council, before we get uh, started this morning, anything that needs to be addressed? No, Your Honor. Nothing on behalf of the state. Well, just, right. just the one thing I, I would, um, I'm going to go out and get that, <coughs> excuse me, my office is bringing the waiver down. And I might have to leave to go get it. And I just wanted the judge to say something to the jury that, so they don't think I'm being rude or, or I'm disinterested in the case or something. Or anything like that. All right. Um, yeah, and again, Mr. Begg, if you just signal to me when we get to that point, and my, I'll say something. I'll put my arm right. I'll do this. I'll see. <laughs> Baseball's <laughs> not. Any years, my All right. Uh, so, um, Ms. Wilson, go ahead and get the jury. We'll get started. To remind you about the admonitions I've been giving to you folks, we do need to make sure that we maintain uh, decorum and control in this case. Uh, please minimize any exclamations, any conversations that could potentially be heard by the jury. Otherwise, if, uh, if a disruptive situation occurs, as I've been stating up to this point, you will be barred from these proceedings and possibly even held in, in, the, in the contempt of this court. So just continue to do your best to minimize all the conversations and the exclamations. I know, I think it was yesterday, the one individual uh, left uh, crying. That was completely appropriate. That's how I appreciated it being handled. So just do your best to uh, continue to, to handle things that way. Okay? Detective, you've probably noted that before every witness's testimony, I've been asking about the media. Do you have any uh, issues with your face potentially being broadcast on the media? I do not, Judge. Right, Ms. Sheehan, you may begin whenever you're ready. Thank you, Your Honor. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Can you please state your name for the record? My name is Daniel Turner, uh, spelled T-U-R-N-E-R. I'm a detective with the Butler County Sheriff's Office. I've been employed there for 12 years, three years as a detective. What are your current duties as a Sheriff's Office detective? I investigate uh, any crime that happens in my jurisdiction. And sir, were you called to investigate a crime or some circumstances whereby a three-year-old by the name of Hannah Weshy became injured? I was. And tell me, when did you become involved with that? It would have been 3-9 of 18. And what was your role in that investigation? <clears throat> I was uh, assigned as a lead detective um, where basically I collect information from uh, the other detectives that are doing all the things they're doing, collect that information, and I get it to the prosecutors in a timely manner. I was also involved in the uh, second interview of the defendant, uh, Lindsey Parton. You said you were involved in the second interview of the defendant, Lindsay Parton. Do you see the defendant in the courtroom today? Yes, she's to my left. She's sitting at the counselor's table wearing all black. 
Thank you. Your Honor, please let the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant. It reflects. You indicated that part of your role as the lead detective was to collect um, information gathered by other detectives. Correct. Okay. Uh, detective Turner, you were present yesterday in court? I was. And you heard testimony regarding an additional narrative provided to defense in March of this year. I think it was Defense Exhibit I, <coughs> Ingrid? Correct. And were, were you aware uh, of that additional narrative at the time you prepared your report back in 2018? I was not. Were you ever aware if that additional narrative from Detective Lambert was uploaded into your case file? I was not. When did you become aware of that narrative, that additional narrative's existence? Yesterday during um, Detective Lambert's testimony. As a result of the testimony then that you heard yesterday, what steps did you take to verify when that narrative was made? I responded back to the sheriff's office. Um, I got with our IT department. Uh, they accessed Detective Lambert's computer where I determined the date of the document. And what was that date that that document was created? Just yes. <laughs> when did you determine that that additional narrative was created? Three twenty-two of two thousand and nineteen. Detective, at any point, had that additional narrative been uploaded into your case file? It had not been. At any point, was that additional narrative submitted to you? It was not. So you indicated part of your duties were uh, to interview the defendant in this case. When did you do that? It was on 3-9 of 18, uh, approximately 10 a.m. at the Butler County Sheriff's Office, located at 705 Hanover Street in Hamilton, Ohio, uh, room number two. Besides yourself and the defendant, was anybody else present in that interview? Detective Hensley. At any point, did you read the defendant her Miranda rights? I did. When did you do that approximately? Uh, within the first couple of minutes of us entering the room. Your Honor, at this time, I would request permission to approach the witness. You <laughs> Sir, I'm handing you what's been marked State's Exhibit 94. Can you okay. go ahead and take a look at that exhibit? Yes. Do you recognize what I've handed you? I do. What is that? It is a copy of the Miranda card that Lindsay Parton signed after it was <coughs> read to her. And is that a true and accurate copy of the rights that you read to defendant or that were read to defendant on March 9th of 2018? Yes, ma'am. During your interview, was that interview conducted in person via telephone? Tell me about that. It was face to face. So you've had a chance to observe the defendant? Correct. How tall is the defendant? Approximately five foot tall. Were you able to determine where the defendant lived at the time of 3-8 of 18? Yes. And where was that? Uh, 4050 Shank Road. And what township is that in, sir? Uh, Hanover Township, Butler County, Ohio. And were you able to determine where the defendant would be, said Hannah? Uh, at that uh, residence. At any point during your investigation, did you or somebody else collect a uh, defendant's cell phone as evidence? Yes. And who collected that? I did. When was that done? That was on the 9th. Your Honor, again, requesting permission to approach the witness. Sir, I'm handing you it's been marked State's Exhibit 124. Can you go ahead and take a look at that? Sure. Do you recognize State's Exhibit 124? I do. How do you recognize that exhibit? It's the package uh, containing the cell phone. And when you say cell phone, whose cell phone? Uh, the defendant, Lindsay Partons. 
And was, is that uh, the packaging that you would have placed the cell phone in? Correct. And does your name appear anywhere on that, uh, that plastic, or that brown bag, Andrew? It does. And is that a, um, is that the cell phone that you collected from defendant on 3918? Yes. At this time, Your Honor, I would ask to, uh, for Detective Turner to open and examine uh, the contents before I seek to admit it. You may. Uh, it's her cell phone. This, it's contained inside what we call a Veriday bag. And what is a Veriday bag? Um, it blocks any outside transmissions, um, so no one can remote access the cell phone. And when you open the Veriday bag, what is inside? What are the contents inside that bag? It's going to be um, one department's phone. Okay. Your Honor, at this time, I would seek to admit State's Exhibit 124. No objection. Fire 124 will be admitted. Okay. Sir, you indicated uh, that you interviewed the defendant. Was that interview recorded? It was. And you're on a permission to approach to remove the scissors from the witness stand? You may. Thank you. <clears throat> you indicated that the video, um, or I'm sorry, the interview was recorded. Was that audio and video recorded? Both. You're on a permission to approach the witness. Amen. Sir, I'm handing you State's Exhibit 95. We'll have a second. Take a look at that and tell me if you recognize that exhibit. <clears throat> I do. And how do you recognize State's Exhibit 95? It's a copy of the interview with Lindsay Parton done on 3-9 of 18, um, reviewed by me on 4-2 of 19, and um, initialed by me. And, sir, is that a true and accurate copy of the interview that you had with the defendant on March 9th of 2018? It is. Your Honor, at this time, we would move to admit and publish dates Exhibit 95. Fence. No objection, Your Honor. Before we do this, I'm going to admit it. Let's have a real quick sidebar, so I'm going to do it. Ms. Sheehan, you will be permitted to uh, publish uh, Exhibit 95 uh, at your desire. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the uh, attorneys did indicate to me that during the course of this, uh, it's begging you probably yes, have to duck out just to retrieve something uh, that is related to this. If you see that, don't pay attention to it. It's not really happening. It's everything's fine. So I didn't want you to sit there and be concerned about what's going on. Okay? Um, Ms. Sheehan, you may uh, go ahead whenever you're ready. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> Good call. Sheila, before you put it on, for some reason I can't get it up online. The only way I know to fix is to throw the monitor on.
the gentleman, my apologies. It's kind of important that I see this as well. I'm trying to figure out exactly. We wouldn't have touched anything from the time we left yesterday. My apologies. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor.
How long have you been that you actually made a sit down? I think it was like the middle of June when okay. he started working for Smith He wasn't living next door yet. The house wasn't empty yet. So it was a Sunday night, and TJ, we were watching TV, and he looked at me, he's like, oh, by the way, we hired a new mechanic, and can you watch this kid tomorrow? He has another babysitter. <laughs> I'm like, sure. And he's like, oh, and then another thing, he'll be here an hour earlier than you normally do. Okay, great. Oh, wow. You know, so. Okay. Um, so that's from on you. Yeah, that's from on me. Um, and then, you know, she fit in great. It's another girl, so, mm -hmm. I mean. She's been great on four. Well, and actually, the four worked out better than three because then there weren't leaving anybody out right, or anything. Right. Actually, the four worked out really great. Um, so you got Savannah and Vivian, right. and then Hannah is Jason. next door. Yes. Jason. Who's the fourth one? Kaylin is her name, yeah. and friend of Michael. Okay. And I only have her Monday through Wednesday. Okay. Her dad works for Time Warner, so he has Thursdays and Fridays. Okay. So it started out just like my part time, like little extra money okay. gig. Yeah. But it's trying to, I mean, and I love it. I love babysitting. Yeah. I really do. And you guys converted that, it was a garage. And yeah. Converted it to like yeah. a playroom, yeah. nursery kind of thing. Okay. Just because it's been cold. Yeah. And, the, and honestly, the wind at our house, the way it comes over the valley is so strong. Like, yeah. even on a nice day, sometimes it's still chilly and mm -hmm. they don't want to go back with me. So, what, um, you pretty much take care of. Hannah the same way you do as Libby and Samantha. They just I mean, they, all fit yeah. into it. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're She's th Hannah's three. She just turned three January 11th. Okay. So I didn't have her for a couple weeks over Christmas because all that snow it didn't work. Okay. So I yeah. for like three weeks I didn't have her over Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Were you paid? Yeah. Were you paid? Mm -hmm. you get paid? 30 bucks an hour. Or 30, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> 30 months a day. And if it's over 12 hours, like sometimes they work okay. 7 to 7, yeah. um, he'll give me 35. Okay. It's kind of okay. like a longer day or whatever, yeah. but 30. Because I provide the food. The How other girl you? brings her food, so it's 25. Oh, okay. I don't have to feed her. Her mom sends her a lunch bag and juices. So, so Hannah's dad does construction, so he almost soon gets up early. Yeah, he's usually by my house by 7, between 6 30 and 7 every day. Okay. Just depending on if he drives his own car, because they work most of the time. I think most of their contracts are in Northern Kentucky, so I know he drives to Alexandria every day. Oh, okay. So if he's taking a work truck and loading it up, it's usually earlier than if he's driving his yeah. own car and doesn't have to do any of that. Nonsense. What's a typical day? Like how long? Ten hours. So long. Hours. Yeah, I mean, because he's driving an hour. So we're talking. He different. gets off at five okay. usually, unless they have like a. So we're talking breakfast to dinner time. Yeah. Oh yeah. You feeding three meals a day? Yeah, usually. Two, Unless he gets there at five. I usually we usually eat at six thirty because TJ's always late. Um, yeah. So we have afternoon staff at four thirty. Okay. Um, yeah, I try to time it like a daycare or yeah. preschool. You know, yeah. I mean I call it preschool or daycare. I did that. That's run efficient. Yeah, yeah. So I mean I do try to like, and we do lessons and we do flashcards and like, okay. you know, try to make it as structured as possible. But I let them play for, I mean, I let them switch. That's what I was taught in school, to let them play. That's how they learn. Yeah. So we play most of the day. Unless we have an outing. I have a zoo pass. Um, I wanted to get a museum pass, but it's not finished yet. So I don't yeah, know that. Sure, yeah. So I'm kind of yeah. wanting to do that. We do the zoo a lot once it gets warm. Okay. Um, what other thing? We go to Costco. Okay, that's good. Well, it's fine because we yeah. get, you know, it's inside and I get to yeah. the shop down and I get a treat. But I don't know this place. And the pizzas, have you ever had a pasta pizza? Uh, yes. I think I ate a pizza. Yes. She's got a great pizza. Yeah. That's what we did on Savannah's birthday. She's a Halloween baby and it was cold. And I'm like, I don't know where to do. We took baby into the zoo. It was a little bit warmer in September. I'm like, I don't know what to do for Savannah. Yeah, we went to pasta. I just got to yell at her. Is your cell phone on? Yeah, probably. I just got my cell phone's on too. I'm not supposed to have what it. What service do you have? Right now. Oh, yeah. It's this one. And my mom just texted me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I try and to get him out of the house yeah. as much as possible when it's not freezing cold. Okay. Any, um, that's 12 hours, you're, you're basically going to 12 hours. Are you doing like baths for everybody? Or is there yeah, that's it. On Mondays we go to dance, so yeah. usually everybody gets a dance, a dance bath. Yeah. Um, I don't give Hannah a bath like every day. Yeah. Um, and sometimes Christine will even say, Kayla, like, can you get a bath last night? You might give her one today. Yeah. Things like that. But no, I mean, I'm not giving. So, and a lot of the times, like, my kids get a bath later at night if I didn't do that during the day. And yeah. I try to take a shower real quick while they're happy. Okay. Yeah, whenever you can. That's pretty yeah. much how it works. Or I take one at night with my girls in the shower with me. Okay. So when when's the last time you have given Hannah a bath? Uh, last week, last probably week. last Monday. Yeah, because she cause she came Monday and had, he said I gave her a bath last week. So Monday we didn't. This Monday we didn't get bath. Okay. Yeah. And then you don't have you have her on the weekends at all? No. Nothing. And I didn't Thursday. have her on. Sometimes I don't even have her on Thursday, like if it's a rain day or like the last two Thursdays I haven't had her. I just had her Monday through Wednesday. Okay. Okay. If um, you had a rain day or something. Is she like a is she bashful guy? Did she get like. She you know, like, she a isn't with me, no. It's just individually. Well, you know, I take that back. I do. If I let her play, yeah. Not individually, I'll do like two at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or two, like, sit in the bathroom. Right, 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 right. But I have to them all for it, and I don't want to play. Yeah. That's not often, but okay. that's a lot. Is she, is she okay with me? She is okay awesome with me, but like if TJ or somebody else, well, she kind of, she'll get right, yeah. But she's not, I mean, no. She's, okay. She plays, she talks to me. Okay. I, she's. My little buddy. Yeah. Do you and washcloth, scrub, you know, head to toe? How, how does that go? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I. Yeah. Especially asking. if they're dirty. Right. I mean, I'm fine with arms. So you're like you're moving arms. And, oh yeah. And oh yeah. yeah. Scrub. Oh yeah. I definitely get the washcloth. Okay. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, have you ever noticed anything, any bruising or anything on her? When you were doing baths? No. Just okay. from, I mean, normal things like Bruce and Mike, it's have on their legs yeah. or falling on their, I mean, yeah. no, I've never, no, I've never not noticed okay. anything. And she's never acted weird towards her dad either. He walks okay. in the door and she runs up to him. And, okay. Daddy! Yeah. And then every morning she asks him, are you coming back? Kayla even asked her mom still. I've had Kayla for two years. Mom, you come back to get me today? Yeah. Okay. Yes, every day. <laughs> Is there anybody else that watches Hannah? Um, I think there's another lady on Fridays, but most of the time he doesn't work on Fridays. I think okay. they try to get their 40 in, okay. unless they've got an emergency or he's helping yeah. somewhere else. I think okay. her name's Sandy, but I think she has her here and there. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know her. I've never met, I don't, I've never met her. I think he's, she's just a family friend that just mm-hmm. had a baby and is at home, and she's backed up. Yeah. Yeah. So. Do you, do you, do you, does she change clothes often during the day? Does she get dirty and you change them? Does, yeah. does she keep changing the clothes there or anything? Well, I actually have the baby to talk to him about yeah. that. Okay. Because if she does get dirty or something on her or has a pee accident, I just put her on clothes, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but that doesn't happen often either. I mean, she's had a couple pee accidents, but she's three. Yeah. I thought he trained all three of them last summer. So, Kaylin, Vivian, and Hannah. All last summer, I spent it out there. Oh, yeah, that's a tough job. Yeah. Wow. So now I'm like, so now you can wait. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there, like, okay, it's like specifically, um, you said it was the last Monday that you would have given Hannah okay. a bath, mm-hmm. and you didn't notice no. nothing. No, not at all. My, my, Vivian is bruised all over her and from falling. She's a kamikaze. Yeah. You know, it's a man. I got to take that in the morning. Yeah, right? I mean, they're just wild. Yeah, all over. Hannah is more wild than that. Okay. She is, she is a dad. That's all she has. So, yeah. like, when I see, so the difference, this is where I see the difference. When TJ gets home, it's that this morning times yeah. a million. Right, yeah. Because yeah. They, they haven't seen him. He's the fun guy. I'm not the fun guy, <laughs> right. you know, and I feel like that's the kind of the way it is with her and him, mm-hmm. like, 
And I don't think that he likes her or leaves her alone. I just think that she gets into things and does things that she's, yeah. she knows that she's probably. See, so he told me the I other day that she'll like, so I guess the locks in their house, he will lock from the inside, and so I guess she locked it just for said, Dad, you can't get your room now. You know what I mean? Like yeah. things like that. How does, like, if she does do something, how does that go? Like, who, is there a timeout chair? Yes. Okay. Both those rockers in my living room. That has a name on them? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, those are timeout chairs. And I've made, I don't, I don't know if I've ever made hands put her nose in the corner, but I make my hands put her nose in the yeah. corner, especially if they, like, hit or something mm -hmm. that's really bad, but you don't just sit and look at it right You're going to go okay. think about what you did. Um, has Hannah ever, is there anything that's dead out in your head where she's acted out? Recently? No. Nothing. She doesn't, she, I'm not her mom. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? Kaylin. You live at 12 hours a day. Right, so. no, but I feel like Kaylin and her listen way better than mine. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Hannah and Kaylin listen. Okay, buddy. Yeah. I'll say, okay, you two go stand with the door. Look, get lined up, get ready to go. You know, of course, they're right by the door. <laughs> mine are like running around like that this morning. Okay. So, she, pretty much always. Now, I mean, they'll do things and like, he should come to Barbie or something, and I'll be like, you ready to do it? Yeah, okay. I mean, they're kids. They do hate each other, and they do. You said, I think, cool, cool earlier today, and, uh, yesterday, that um, she fell on some gravel. She did Tuesday. It was okay. the nice day we went outside. And so she, so you, know, you know, you're very aware of bruises. Oh yeah, yeah. I look like pebble bruises from when she fell. She literally, so she had on um, cowboy boots with the heels. Yeah. And Vivian took off running and I was kind of behind them. Um, far behind them. I should have been up closer. Well, we'll, 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 we'll get into all that. Okay. Later. We're going to show you some pictures. Okay. But, uh, so we just kind of want you to point out okay. all the bruises and all the okay. small little nicks and scratches that you were aware of gotcha. and exactly how they happen okay. and all that stuff. Okay. Okay. Yes. I thought of you okay. um, that may or may not be easy to look at. You know. okay. Just start off just to give you a, with the pebbles that you got wrong with you fell. Okay. It's it's not pebbles. I mean it's a gravel driveway. Like okay. it's not pebbles. It's, okay. TJ just redid it and it's I mean it's rocks. It's rocks. Yeah, okay. it's rocks. It's not okay. pebbles. Okay. <laughs> yep. Exactly where she fell and on her chin. She didn't even her hand didn't even hit. Like she just she what she was doing, and I can show you how she was running. Running like this, and then looked back and went like that. Literally. Did she slide? Or? No. It was just bam. Bam. Yeah. She kept and she got right back up and kept running. I said, Hey, are you okay? I'm okay. So so all these so all these small little bruises. And the ones on the chin. Yes, I know about those right there. And even yes. the one on the yes, chin. Yes, remember the one on the chin, yep. And the neck there. Yep. Yep, that's all this. from that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I saw, I saw I mean, the neck was up, yes. up under her chin like that. So, so well, she went extended pretty far. She, she went like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And on the toilet yesterday, not yesterday, I, Wednesday, I noticed that. I was like, wow, man, those rocks got you. And I even told him that. I said, the rocks look like they pum like punctured her chest. Yeah. And they're big rocks. So what was she wearing shirt-wise when that happened? She just had on her regular shirt. It was like t-shirts? Oh, um, just a long sleeve, like cotton. Long sleeve t-shirt? Yeah. Okay. It was warm. Okay. It was like 65. Okay. Yeah. Now, is that, uh, we may have a better one, of the shoulder? The shoulder. Yeah, I've not seen that one. That okay. might be from the choo-choo train ball or something, but I don't see that one, no. Okay. Yeah. We have that looks like a hippie. Yeah, that's the shorter one. But you can kind of see that, and mm -hmm. you're saying that that's not... The no, I don't think, I don't know. No, I don't think that's part of it. Unless I just didn't notice it when I... I just, when I noticed the bruise on her neck and her chest, we were going potty. Okay, and what day did this happen? Tuesday. Okay, this uh, this week? Yes. Okay. Tuesday, when it was nice out. It was... Is that the same day yeah, as... 11. Okay. 11 that morning. We went out before lunch. Okay. Same day as the train? No, the train was Wednesday. Okay, okay. Yeah. So Tuesday... Yeah, and then, so and I have something else to add. So I yeah. talked to my mom yesterday. Monday, we went to dance, 
and she didn't want to dance. She wanted to sit with my mom. And so I thought maybe she just wanted, she liked my mom. My mom's always around, my mom does dance with us. I need help, it's a mommy and me class, so I gotta be in there to dance with them. And she was really quiet, and mom's like, you know, I, I was trying to talk to her, and I was giving her, you know, peanut butter crackers, and she wasn't really like responding to me. Like, this was what day? Monday, my mom said that she felt like there was something off. She didn't want to dance, we got to dance, and I'm like, all right, let's get our shoes on, and she said, buddy, I don't want to dance, I just want to sit with Nana. Okay. And I said, okay, you can do that today, you don't have to dance if you don't want to. So my mom gave us cheese and peanut butter crackers, yeah. and my mom said she wasn't the same, there was a, she just didn't seem the same. And she's been quieter this week. Okay. So, I don't know. Um, but Tuesday and Wednesday? I mean, she was playing, I mean, but... I'm trying to think if there's anything abnormal I can think of that right. I can't think of her like talking a whole lot those couple of days, but I can't think of her not. I mean, I mean she's having like Barbies and did I mean did stuff. Yeah. But like my, my mom didn't say Monday that she felt like she didn't feel good. There was something off because we get to dance and she's ready to go. She yeah. loves to dance. And what time is dance? Five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is why. I take her because Jason doesn't make it home in time, so when I signed him up, I was like, well, do you want me to do this? Yeah, and he was like, yeah, that would be great for her. Okay. So uh, at Dan's, um, what, on Tuesday? Tuesday after she would have fallen into the crowd. Mm -hmm. Did you guys go anywhere after that? Yeah. 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 And you said we got the bell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so. yeah, two was a handful this morning. You say after she fell on the gravel, she had to share, you know, her, her chin was yeah. kind of extended. It was. Falling down on straight, the Straight ahead? Was she staring straight ahead? Yeah, she kind of looked back and then, I think I she... I mean, she fell, yes. she, yes. she stretched yes. her head forward. Already it forward. Straight yeah. forward, mm -hmm. face down, yeah. full face. Yes, yeah. full face play. All right. So that's my like play. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... I noticed those on Wednesday when I was um, first potty at the board and like, wow, this... Uh, so you notice this the next day after? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and what about the scratch here? I think that was from the gravel. Okay. Yeah, it was the notice, same thing, yes. It was, did you notice that Tuesday? Yes. No, yes, Tuesday, yes. I'm trying to think of the days we're talking about. Yes, so was Tuesday. she bruised Tuesday? No, yeah, she just had a little scratch. She just had a scratch. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was red, obviously. Okay. And it was starting, I mean, I, could, I put ice on it. Okay. You know, we came back inside and I could tell. She was ready to put ice on it. She'll ask her ice and she'll her band aid and they all do. Okay. But um and there's a bruise here on the neck mm -hmm. and all that. I guess I saw that. Mm -hmm. Now you can kind of see the shoulder a little better. Yeah. I I don't I feel like that was maybe from falling Wednesday. I didn't I didn't notice that. Okay. So did she so which side did she fall on Wednesday when she fell on the train? Her right. Her right side. Yes, you okay. smack your face on the right. Her right side on the train? Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Her right side. Correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm, All right. I'm sorry. I'm okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. Was... fine. So it's probably that wasn't the train then? Is that the that's left side? Oh, yeah. I'm obviously not on my right from my left. No, that's, no. It's... Yeah. But you're, sure, but you're sure that she fell on her right side off the train? Yes. Okay. I'm positive. I'm positive. Okay. All right. We're just trying like, to like, say we're just trying I'm to. I'm trying to like remember the pictures in my head and going through everything that's what we've been doing all night. Just trying to. Yeah. We're just trying to account for it. Like, yeah. But my mom, my mom, that triggered something to me yesterday when I was talking to her. Okay. She just felt like Hannah was not right one day. Yeah. And she has been complaining of headaches the past couple of weeks. <laughs> and to me, since I've known her, her balance and stability has always been off. She's not... She's not coordinated. Yeah, well, I feel like her legs have always been kind of, I don't know, like how that would that... I don't know how to make that sound the way I want it to sound. Right. I don't know, she's just... I don't know. She's, she's not coordinated. She's not coordinated. Good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you would dance, but she's so cute. Yeah. So the train, I didn't actually see the train, I haven't seen the train. How tall is the train? Uh, about that high off the ground. Okay. She was standing up on it, yeah. doing the serpent thing, yeah. and it went out from the side and she went down like that. With, I mean, her arms back. Yeah. Yeah. 
Smacked. Smacked the right side of the face. Yeah. Okay. And I freaked out and ran out there. I'm like, are you okay? She jumped back up and I, she said, yeah, I'm fine. I said, let's go put ice on it. Let's sit down. Really far. What was she complaining of? Headache. Remember. Okay. Good. Remember. Okay. I gave her some ibuprofen, but I, I wrote a soft ice pack in the freezer for the beginning of our washcloths already. Was well, any other kids around when she did that? Or? Yeah, they were all in the garage playing. Okay. Yeah, they were all there right in there. Okay. Like, so it was in the garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a concrete floor. I'm in mean, the rubber pad of the house. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when you're, you said you put ice after she fell off the train. Mm -hmm. Now, where did, you, where did you apply the ice? On her face. Yeah. Where she fell. Okay. Yeah. So it's like one just, face. just where on her face? Like was it? One spot, a couple spots. Well, where she spot. smacked it, like on her eye yeah. and her she cheekbone. She wasn't about her eyes. She was just about her eyes. <laughs> I asked her if her eye hurt because I could tell if something hit it right inside there. And I said, does your eye hurt? And she said, no. She said, just my head. So I gave her some ibuprofen. We sat down. She played with Barbies for us today. We had snack and pie. We were going to do snack. I was getting snack ready. Mm -hmm. And so it was like 4 o'clock. And... I let him play out. We were going to have snack outside in the garage. And then when that happened, I was like, no, I just come back inside. We'll put the cars away. Well, I came back in the living room. They got the Barbies out, and baby dolls. They were playing. I put on Leap, the Bellarmine movie. Mm -hmm. okay. That was it. She ate two bowls of Skyline. I made a Skyline chili bake. She ate two bowls of Skyline chili. She's a great What kind of ice was it in her? The no, no, the, the, the blue packs, the blue oh, soft pack. Yeah, the so ones that are soft. So that was yeah. Wednesday after she fell off the train, she was eating normal. Yeah, she ate two big bowls of Skyline chili bake. That's good. And crackers. And then he said she ate again when they got home. Okay, perfect. Yeah, kids eating. She ate. She didn't there. throw up. I looked at her pupils. I I always do the lap, the flashlight, the pupils. Yeah. My brother was a soccer player, so all my life I've seen concussions. What, yeah, so. What, what are you looking for when you're shining the light? If they get smaller or bigger. Yeah. And if they're moving. And both were doing that? Both of them were doing that, yeah. I'm okay. tracking them. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I am a worry wart. My mom. So, so um, do you have any like, training in that? or? No. Oh, okay. I'm just my mom. Just it. Google? No, I didn't even Google anything. My brother's a soccer player, and he's the one that would run towards the ball instead of not trying to get hurt. Yeah. And I remember him. Hit him with a ball in the eye at close range once and yeah. left. No, you don't have to be a doctor to see if no, people are. Well, I think I can tell when people are. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I definitely checked her out. And as soon as he walked in the door, I said, Well, she had an accident. She fell in the garage and smacked her face. And he's like, Oh, wow, you are, you know, you are and swelled up a little bit. I said, Put ice on it. You can probably get her side of the them before she goes to bed. Yeah. So it was, you said, you No, know, you saw something in her. I noticed her, her eye. Her right eye. Mm -hmm. And then. What else other than uh, what well, I, I thought, I thought she hit her cheek well it was mostly right here, like okay. her cheekbone almost. Okay. So I thought like it had got her cheekbone. So I was kinda like making sure she was okay. And I she complained about anything else that happened other than headaches? Not anything. She didn't point to anything. Not a thing. She wasn't pulling on anything or rubbing anything else? No. Okay. No. Good. Alright, we're gonna move on and show you um, a few more. Yeah, she literally just collapsed in front of me. Okay. Just 
Did you notice the year as well? No. Her year's always over her. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have the back. ear here, and you have the back of her ear here. here. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's, you know, this is bruised on both sides. Yeah. Hmm. Um, there's a piece of cartilage in the ear. So, um, you know, this is a one continuous bruise, basically. Yeah. It's, you know, it's two bruises. It is bruised through. It's, it's something on the front and the back. Hmm. It's like. No, I've never, never noticed seen that. that. Never noticed her ears. What about that? People scratch. Mm -hmm. like... mm -hmm. okay. No, and she won't let me fix her hair in any of her hair. And by like giving the little pony, don't take it out. I've, I've never. Okay. And her hair's always like. Okay. No, I've never noticed this. But I feel like that was from collapsing. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not sure. So after she fell, um, she fell face first, correct? Oh, the choo choo train? <laughs> no, uh, Thursday when she fell, when she went unconscious. Yes. Um, what exactly, how did you move her and into what position did you move her into? I really wasn't sure what was happening, so I kind of picked her up and I was like, Hannah, are you okay? And I probably did the wrong thing because I wasn't sure what was happening at you. <coughs> what's wrong? What's wrong? Wake up. Like, what's, what's going on with you? So you down? I had been oh, down. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, well, first I said, Hannah, are you okay? Get up. I thought maybe she'd like tripped over her pants or something because sometimes she'll try to like take off her shoes while she's standing up. Yeah. And she didn't get up and I'm like, are you okay? What's up? And she was like not saying anything to me. And so I picked her up and I'm like, you know, I probably shook her. Like, are you okay? And I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. What did, what you know? I don't know if I shook her. I just was like, I was holding her. Like, Hannah, are you okay? And then so I laid her down and that's when I called Jason. And I said, Jason, she's, there's something wrong with Hannah. She's not waking up. I don't know what happened. She just started, she just walked in the door and collapsed. I said, you need to come up here now. So you, were you holding her during yeah. that time? Well, no, I was. You were there on the Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so down. I wasn't holding her very long, but like okay. I didn't understand why she wasn't coming to. Like, yeah, and you're, you're shaking her to get her to come to. How are you shaking her? Not shaking her, just like, Hannah, are you okay? Hannah, are you okay? Hannah, are you okay? Trying like, to wake her? Okay. So yeah. you... When you're down, you were down on one knee, two knees, over top two of her. Yeah, I mean, I was down, yeah. You had both arms under her, or did, we, did you have her shoulders? When I was, well, when I was holding her, I was holding her like this, and when I laid her down, I wasn't holding her at all, I was on the phone. Okay. And then when I got fell on you, know, I was like, I don't even know what I was doing, to be honest. And then what he got there, he asked me for air. Like how often? And I would say, every couple seconds, and I, when I would say her name, she would look at me. She was she was responding to me. I just couldn't get her to like say anything. And then Jason got there and picked her up off my floor and took her out to the couch in the garage and laid her there and waited for the paramedics to come around the back. Yeah. Do you have a picture of the eye? Yeah, I think that's from Paul. I noticed her eye. Yep, I noticed her eye Thursday. So Thursday morning. Yep. She walks in. I noticed that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, so the eye that you were. I was you noticed that. Right. Yeah, yeah. It is her. Life. That's the. I mean, she fell on her face on the side of the yeah. choo train. I'm not. The pictures and mirroring is not good for me. Well, that's how she would be. Yeah. But that's if you were, if you were, if you were gotcha. putting ice on her face, obviously. It was, yeah, it was the left side, I'm sorry, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so okay. like, yeah. So, so when she fell off the train. Yes, she, she did. Hit, yep. She hit her face. Yep. Now you're saying that it's the left side. Yeah, I was thinking, because she fell, she fell to the left. I don't know why, not the right. Not the right. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so. I've never been good, Ross right, Ross left. This you did not see. Not that I know of. Train. No. Okay. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I didn't think she was hurt right. like this. On the, when she fell off the train. Yeah, but I didn't think okay. that she was like. She wasn't thrown up. No. She wasn't Her pupils were like, She ate two bowls of skyline. She, she didn't throw, throw any of it. Not any of it. And then you didn't hear her dad never said anything about it. Not her. one word. And he walked in while she was eating. Two bowls of Yeah. Yeah, that's heavy. So yeah, it's heavy food. 
she left Wednesday. I honestly don't know about that. But when I, she left the house, your house Wednesday, was her eyes starting to black at all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When did you first notice? Just right here. And then um, I noticed that she had like a little icky looking thing on her eye. Okay. Yeah. And then when she came and in there, I was like, told, oh, it's starting to get black. And you told Dad? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so Wednesday. I usually she, call him during the day. It's, so, like I've had once before, like so Thursday, long when time ago. You saw saw her. This was it was a dramatic um, worsening of the injury, right? What day? What day? Thursday. Yeah. Thursday morning, because this would have been the well, day after she. Honestly, when she walked in Thursday morning, and when he put her down, I like looked at her face. I thought she looked better. Oh. Okay. And I said, um, cause after I put the ice on, I googled bruising, um, how to make it feel better or get better, and it said you put vapor rub, we'll cool it down, and salt will help break up the red blood cells. And when did you Google that? Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday after it happened. Okay. What, did you, what were you on when you Googled that? My Google app. Phone. My phone. My Google app. Yeah. Um, so it said dig vapor rub and salt. And so I put that on there. So when you walk in, I was like, sorry, she smells like big, big vapor rub. Um, and so I, when she walked, when she came Thursday, I was like, oh, it, it seems like it worked a little bit. Mm -hmm. I thought she looked better. Okay. So where was the bruising again on Wednesday that you noticed before you sent her home? Under the eye and on the cheekbone. And, her and, eye. and in her eye, yes. Okay. yes. So none of this up here or over here was quite there? Not yet, no. Okay. No. All right. No. There may be in the line there already, but she, uh, I wouldn't have been able to prize her open. You know, I don't know that I noticed that. But I, yeah, I definitely saw that and definitely saw the inside of the eye. Okay. So when, when none of the, you, you were saying the right side, none of this was on her right side from the train, you're saying? No, that's from the gravel. Okay. She literally bit it. Okay. Full force running. Did she run fast? Or? She tries. She, yeah. Vivian was a leader in that. Okay. She took off running and Hannah followed her. You said when she totally bit it, her head was going down towards the ground. Yeah, she smacked her chin. Her chin right here? Yeah. Okay. And that's the problem. There's no mark directly on the point of her chin. We're looking There's at very, very little to no bruising right here in the middle. It's on the left. Yeah. Yeah. And on the right. Like I said, I was far away too. I was and then, way behind them, so. And then up underneath her teeth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when people so when people fall, um, you're going to have bruising on the sharp points, okay? So it's going to be this point, none here, and then some here. Or if you're over here, you're going to have some here. And she could. Or I don't know. Some. I honestly, I was here. just coming out of the door. And if you fall straight forward, mm -hmm. you're not going to have bruising over here, and over here, and none in the middle. Yeah. And then bruising would have been here. And up underneath there, there would have been no bruising. That's a soft spot that your, natural, your body naturally protects. Yeah. Like, the way your body That's why it's tough to like it's tough yeah. in. Um, and that's what that's where we're getting. That's why we wanted you to come down and fill in some of these holes. Yeah. Um, because I, I mean, honestly, I've been pretty honest with you this morning. A lot of these aren't adding up to a fall on the gravel. Yeah. With with it being over here mm -hmm. and down here, and then these. I mean, she would have had to fall in like in some perfectly aligned gravel to get. And here, here's another thing on the uh, on the chest. Once again, you don't have to be a doctor. You've got to be more yeah. like that. Okay. You see that bruise? Mm -hmm. What's that kind of look like? Is it older? Older. Yeah. If older and older. There's some yellowing all through here, and then see this here. Mm -hmm. That looks. What would you say? Older. To me, that looks brand new. Oh, okay. That, that looks newer than even. Okay. Than yeah, yeah. I don't know. So what it kind of looks like is that these are all from a different time. Yeah, and like I said, she is well. She is well. I don't. I don't think that she's been. I really don't think that she's been hurt. I. You don't. No, I honestly don't. In my gut intuition, I don't think that he's a bad guy. I really don't. I think that he well, is a here, here, guy. Well, here's one thing that we that. Um, now this is from a senior neurologist. Okay? Yeah. He's telling us that uh, the the brain injury that she s sustained was absolutely not 24 hours prior 
or even an hour prior. The injury that caused this, uh, or the incident that caused this brain injury, yeah. was immediate. That is, a, I have no idea. So she wouldn't have, so, so um, if dad would have, I don't know, knocked her out Thursday morning before she dropped you off, let me ask you this, was she crying or anything like that? No, but she, she didn't want to kind of like let him go. She was, I don't know. She didn't want to let him go? Yeah, it was a little. Okay. Yeah. She kept wanting to hug on him. Yeah, but she wanted donuts. But she, yeah. Well, we got inside. Yeah. Okay. So whatever happened um, <coughs> did not happen prior to her getting to your house. Okay. I mean. It wasn't Thursday and it wasn't Wednesday for sure. Yeah. I don't know. That's, a, that's, that's not where we're at. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got we've got these world-renowned neurologists mm -hmm. saying, no, this didn't happen Thursday. It surely didn't happen Wednesday. That's this funny. happened immediately. This injury happened and she went down. She and that's what these people do, obviously. Yeah, no, I, I, that's what, yeah, yeah, no, I, I told you, we're throwing, we're, what we know, what we know from yesterday, everything we know, we were telling doctors, this is what we're being told. Doctor says, nah. It was he's a hit. He's seen thousands of yeah. these. He said, doctor says it was a hit, and she went down. I would never hit a kid. I don't even spank my own. Someone in that house, oh, I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Someone yeah. in that house, after dad dropped her off, injured this kid to the point where she's unconscious. Or a dramatic fall, or something. Or some sort of accident. No, I mean, I believe you, but that an accidental drop. Yeah, something. No, something something absolutely happened, happened, happened yeah. while when she walked in the door. To the time she fell. That's the time frame that there's no doubt. It's not a question of, well, maybe it happened, maybe then there's no doubt. It absolutely happened during this time. And the only person that was there was a couple of kids and you. Yeah. That's what we're running into. So, I, you know, we can understand if, God, I, can, I cannot imagine. I've got kids similar, similar ages. Yeah. All these kids. Yeah. You know, I can't imagine if if I would have accidentally done something to cause this. Yeah, I, and, and then, you know, I mean, and I, it's, yeah, it's human nature. It's yeah, human no, nature if I hurt anybody, just, I would never. Right, listen now, yeah. it's completely human nature to, you know, this is a big deal, obviously. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's human nature to be like, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But what do you do? I what really I'm don't. Saying. I that I'm Whether it was an accident or not, yeah. something happened under your care in about a five minute span. We've absolutely got to narrow down to that. And by you saying, that's kind of not cutting because... I know, I, but I don't know what else to say. And I think, I mean, you called for help. Yeah, of course. So it's not like you were trying to hide anything. No, I don't know. Something, not, something happened. Not. Something happened. Okay. Um, Something happened that we're, that we're not getting told. Well, see, yeah, we're, we're not, it's not, it's not if something happened. Something happened. So we're beyond nothing happened. Yeah. We're beyond that. Something happened. And the only person who knows what happened yeah. is you. Um, I, unfortunately, she, you know, I don't know. she can't tell us right now. No, I know. No, she can't. Um, so that's what we So we're, 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 we're beyond, we're beyond, no, no, listen, no, listen, 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 we're beyond that. No, I, mean, I, I understand what you're there's saying. There's no point talking about Wednesday, okay? Because Wednesday absolutely did not happen. Anything Wednesday. This happened in about a five minute span. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And it happened when she was in your custody, okay? It, was it an accident? I mean, some, she, 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 she's done something. She's she, fallen. I, she's she she's been dropped. Something. I did not do anything to her. We're not saying you do. No, I know. But no, I honestly, she did. But we're just saying you know. Okay. I mean, you would, you would have seen her, you saw her collapse. It was immediate. 
that she collapsed after this. You, 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 and you, said, you, out the door. you said you, you never lost eye contact with her. With, with the time she walked in, yeah. you followed her in, and she collapsed. That's not possible. That's not that's not possible. I believe she walked in. Yeah, she did. My dad. Yeah. I believe all that. But as soon as you guys went into the house, something happened. There's no doubt. Just listen to me. Listen. To me. I know. There's no doubt that something happened. Something absolutely happened. Okay. We're not going back to Wednesday. We're not going back to the morning that Dad had her. We're beyond even that. We've it's narrowed down by by brain surgeons no, that, that it happened right when, right before she hit the ground. That's, that's when it happened. And you just told us, and you told us several times, that she, you were looking at her. It's not like she walked around the corner and you came around and was like, what the hell happened? No, she you had eye contact with her the yes, whole time. Sir. Yes, sir. That didn't cause her to collapse. She didn't just collapse. Traumatic brain injury. That's what this is. Traumatic. Okay. You called for help. Yes. Okay. So. As soon as she. As soon as, soon as she she there's, no, there's no doubt in our minds yeah. that this was an accident. Yeah. This was a horrible, a horrible she accident. Didn't call Thursday morning. That that's this is a horrible accident. I asked. And you have to tell us. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. And you have to tell us yeah. exactly what that accident was. Yes. Because her, her, she's still being treated, okay? Now, your treatment can go either way, whether she's hit in the back of the head with a baseball bat, which I absolutely don't believe she was, or whether she was dropped, or, or whatever she hit her head on, or, or got some sort of whiplash somehow. It was instant. It was absolutely I instant. You. So, and if you believe us that it's instant, you're, you're agreeing that, okay, she fell because she got hit, or something happened, something caused, look, something caused this, okay, in her head. She fell because of that, all right? What caused that? What accident caused this? She fell on the door and hit the concrete step. When? Thursday morning. Walking into the walking yeah. out the house. Yes. Tell us about. It. Take us through it. Details. So when I opened up the door, she was coming through, and she slipped on that concrete step and the metal part. She hit the metal part on her eye. Which door? The, the back one. Door yeah, the yeah going into the house, the carpet. And so I got her back up, and she stood up and looked up at me and did say, "I want donut and couch," and then collapsed. Appreciate you being honest. I mean, you know, it's an, it's an accident. You called for help. This is my fault. I should have protected her. Not, it's not should have let her fall. I should have been holding her. It's not your fault. But here's the thing. You've gone through every single one of these injuries, and you had no problems telling us about these. Okay. I thought you was. And even fall. the injury, even the even the injury that that you were thinking uh, put her in the situation she was in. You told us about that. No problem. What's the difference? What's the difference in this injury I, and the one you were there for both of them? Know, if I'm you thought like, this one put her in the hospital, I didn't. Why I thought Wednesday. I didn't. I thought Wednesday because she's. Yeah, you went on this one. So you're under you your own this one. You yeah. said this one happened you when you were watching her. Okay. You why lied for help. Why lie about this one about about her falling? Because I thought it. Because I. I thought it was my fault, and I thought she was having a seizure, and I didn't want Jason to be mad at me, that she slipped and fell, and I wasn't holding her, and I was trying to grab her blanket from her. Here's, here's the thing. And I thought it was my fault that she was having thing. a seizure. I thought she was having a seizure. I was scooping on her mouth. Okay. So she's, so go through that again. Go, go through that exactly. I opened up the door. I'm like, can I go out and take your jacket or blanket? And when I went to take her blanket, she it slipped on the blanket, not underneath her foot, and on that one step, and she hit that metal part. Right. So on the threshold or the bottom of the door? Yeah, the metal part that goes. Okay. Across. And she hit what side? The left side. Okay. Um. Right. She's what this tall? Yeah. Okay. That's not what did this. She's this tall, right? No, I'm not. She's this tall. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the steps are you step 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 really the house. Hit, hit the, hit okay. the part. So there's is there a step and then you step into the house? Yes. So she okay. hit the top part, the upper part. Yes. The, okay. So the then she gets up. Is the is the stuff about do you want to go back to bed or or what? Is that all that true? Did yeah, she yeah. Have, she got back up and she got up. Yeah. Okay. And then the lapse. Make the lapse. Okay. And I thought she was having a seizure. I didn't think that that but, 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 her. But, I thought this one was missing. That's not what happened. No. It is. I promise. No, that's not what happened. It is. The doctor said when this injury occurred, she was out. She this wasn't. Is, this she is back up. I'm being completely that's, honest. This, that's not what happened. She wouldn't be able to talk. That's not what happened. It was, there was a more severe accident that happened that, that just like this accident, you're afraid to tell us for some reason. Okay? I'm not afraid to tell you anything. Well, you were afraid to tell us that. Well, we, we, got got through that. we got through that. We got through that. We got We got through that. And we're going to get through this. Get through this. Okay? Okay. Because that's, that's, that's what we're doing. Yeah. So, so tell us. That's exactly. That's, that's not what happened. It is. She no. slipped and fell. No. Okay, I did not. I she didn't fall 12 inches and traumatically bruise her. She falls. To the point where they have to cut a piece of her skull off to relieve pressure. It's not what happened. Especially, especially, yeah, especially on a. The bones right here are extremely weak. In order to do that much damage. They're, like they're, weak, they're weak for a reason. Exactly. No, all of them. They're weak for a reason. Oh. They break because they're like crumple zones in a car. Yeah, that's why they break. No broken bones here. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. That absolutely did not do that. Even the surgeon said that. Okay? So that's not what happened. So tell us what really happened. That's really what happened. No, that's not what happened. We're I beyond don't... that. We're beyond I that. I don't know what else to Listen, say. Listen, you tell us that she's on top of a toy. Mm -hmm. Okay? And she falls face first. Yeah. The day before. Yeah. Gets up and goes on about her business. She did. She did. Never yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she, the next day, she falls into a step that's probably this tall, this tall up off the ground. Mm -hmm. She's this tall. That's what a foot and a foot first. And first. Yeah. She slipped. Okay. Away. You have kids. Yeah. We didn't have kids. Yeah. yeah. You you really think that her falling twelve inches? Hitting her eye is going to make her brain swell. No, that's what I don't understand. Right, right. because that's not something more dramatic. Something more. Dramatic. I, I believe you, but I did not hurt her. What is, is, we're not saying you hurt her. We're saying you were there for the accident. Yeah, that was okay? the accident. Because that's exactly what happened, and that was not the accident. That's not what did this. We know that without a doubt. Okay, it didn't happen. She has no broken bones in her face. Okay. I mean, this is a common thing being broken when somebody's head right. falls, okay? Yeah. That's not broken. Breaks easily to protect your brain. Yeah. Okay? I thought it was yeah. And there's no broken bone in her face. So that's not what happened. Okay? You know, we've, we've come a long way. We, we, we got past that. Okay? Yeah. You're right there. You're right there. Thank you. When I opened the door, I dropped her. And I slipped on the bill. So I slipped on her blanket. I opened the door, and we both went down, and she hit that con step really hard. Where? On, on her head? On her face, yeah. I was holding her on the left side. When I slipped, it hit her side. I actually hit my head on the door coming down, but she smacked her face, her whole, her her head really hard on the concrete step. Okay, and then what happened? We got up. I tried to, try to get her to come too. <coughs> she did ask me for a donut and couch out in the garage uh, inside, but she did it when we first walked in and Jason walked out. So now you're saying she asked that before? Yeah. Okay. And I fell and she fell. Where, did, where were you at when you fell? Um, Against the door, trying to get. Of the door, the door opened. I was holding her. The blanket was kind of like falling because he had handed her to me, and I put her down. And then I picked her. No, he put her down, and when he walked out the door, I picked her up with the blanket, and it got tangled up. And when I opened up the door, it got tangled, and I slipped. So, are you on the concrete floor? Or are you on the step? Or are you on the top? Step? I was on getting ready. I was trying to step up to go inside. I lost my balance. The blanket got underneath my foot, and we both fell. 
she smacked her face on that concrete step, and I hit the door. And I tried to brace her and myself, but I lost my balance. She hit her really hard. Then we, I got up and tried to get her to come to do. I was checking her, and I said, hey, are you okay? Yeah. I didn't say that, and I already paid the phone. She didn't respond. You were still in the garage, kind of in the doorway. Kind of in the, the, in the doorway. Yeah. Right where I said I was. She didn't want her to be hurt. I thought she was having a seizure. Mm -hmm. I think she was really hurt. Oh, her, her brain was, was going through some trauma. That's what it, you know, the brain fights to keep going with. And you let it and try to carry it around with this blanket. I didn't have any clothes on under my room, and I was like... And then he was just like waiting for us. I didn't know in a hurry. So, so why would you hide that? Because I didn't want to be in trouble. I mean, why would you I don't know, because I have basic kids at home. I don't want my husband to get sued. I don't... Now I can't want to get kids anymore. Or we yell at him, or I don't know, I just, I'm a goody two-shoes, I've never been in trouble, I've never done anything bad in my life, I would never hurt a kid, I didn't, I she was that hurt, and I know, she was just having a seizure, and I even like turned her on her side and did the mouth thing. How long did you try to get her to come to before you uh, called her dad? I mean, like, not even, two seconds, I mean, it was immediate. Immediate, but I knew. I mean, I knew something was wrong. I I thought it was a senior. Like I said, so I called him and I said, "She's not. She collapsed." I didn't think that I hurt a kid. Cause I slept really hard. I actually tried to catch myself in her at the same time, and I bruised my hand right here. <coughs> Really appreciate I'm so sorry. <clears throat> okay. I shouldn't have carried her inside. She didn't she didn't want her to have to leave. So I felt bad. Okay. I was trying to like hug her. Make her like daddy will be back. I love her so much. Okay. Alright. Now tell us. We really appreciate you being honest, okay? Now tell us the truth about the children in the next. I honestly don't know anything about that. I really thought it was the gravel. I really did. I believe you, but I had not seen that before the gravel. I really hadn't ever. I noticed it Wednesday when we were going potty that morning. Um, <clears throat> so, so, uh, Wednesday or Tuesday when she fell on the rocks. Mm. Um, you didn't notice any bruising prior, right? No. Uh -huh. So what about two, what about Wednesday? Wednesday morning is when I noticed. Noticed what? The, the, the bruise on her chin on her chest. Okay. Do you know what touch DNA is? No. Okay. So anytime someone touches something, okay? Like right now, I just let billions of skin cells, okay? You can get them from fingernails, you can yeah. get them from anything you touch, mm -hmm. okay? And you can transfer them from person to person, okay? Um, all it takes is seven skin cells to be, nice. right, to, yeah. to, to, uh, to be tested. Mm -hmm. okay? So like I said, when you touch something, you leave billions of them, okay? Nice. Is there any reason at all that your DNA or any of your skin cells or fingernail cells or oh, yeah. anything at all yeah. would be inside this specific woman. Probably because wow. I uh, I did the vapor rub and all that stuff on her. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Okay. Yeah. I did the vapor rub and the salt and I even did my essential oils and mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure there is. Okay. Do you know if DNA will survive petroleum jelly? No idea. No idea. Back to under the chin here. Mm -hmm. This 
this absolutely did not happen from a fall on a flat driveway. No. Okay? Yeah. I believe you. Okay. I don't know So what happened to her neck? I do not know. I, I thought it was the grapple and the fall. Yeah, we remember we went through this, and you told us how you agreed with this, that some of this stuff. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. So it's the exact same size as the fresh ones. And they look very similar. Mm -hmm. So either as she fell on, the, on that very same gravel a couple of times, different stages. It could be. Or, I mean, we had a gravel at his house, too. Okay. So you said, remember you said that he had just put this new he did. gravel on the He just the barn. Okay. And, yep. So it, it well, being they, the they same. Do, they do the gravel a lot. Okay. Because of the but, I mean, this, you know, you, you said that these are different stages of healing, right? Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Tell us about those. I think you know about these two. Yeah. I don't know about this. I think you do. I don't. I honestly don't. I'm positive you do. Why would you think I know about them? Because you just lied to us. How, how many times? Well, you are. We can't tell you how many times it tells how she found out what happened in the fall. Okay? Can you and see we, how that doesn't look good? Yeah. And we understand. You call for help. Okay? We're not getting mad at you or anything. We just want to know what happened. We want to know everything that happened. We want to know how that happened. We want to know how that happened. We want yeah. to know how the fingers, the, you know, these things happen. Um, we're getting calls from all these doctors yeah. saying, no, 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 and we're saying, yeah, that's the same. No. Yeah. That's what it was. That's not, that's not what's going this on. This morning, you know, the doctors called and said, you know, tell us what happened when, when you were being told. Yeah. And the said, no. I don't know. Okay. I really, I don't know anything about that. I really and, don't. And, and here's another thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Dad, obviously, every time she comes home with a new scrape or bruise, mm -hmm. Dad asks her, yeah. I know you told him. Yeah. But he's doing what any other dad would say. Of course. So what does she tell him, dad, whenever he says, what happened here? What happened there? What happened here? What's, what's the one word or one thing she was saying? I don't know. Baby said her. And even the lady, who, who else did who else watches her? Sandy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? She asked, and she asked, who did where, it? where did the girl, where did you get all this where stuff? Where did you get these babysitter babies there? So now we've got... I have the babysitter. So look. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't. Let me ask you this. I, earlier in the day, I heard, did you, were, did you go to college? Yeah. Okay. What did you go to college for? Uh, teaching. Teaching. Did you get to teach? <laughs> no, my dad owns a trucking company, so I stayed on with okay. his secretary. Okay. And, like I said, but I did teach preschool and okay. daycare. Like, and I saw a, a slice of your life this morning at 9 a.m. Yeah. Kids screaming. Mm -hmm. You know, it's loud. Yeah, it's Things get very hectic. loud. Okay. Are you ever mad at the way that turned out? No, I love, I love. Things. I'm not saying you don't love your kids. No, no, no. Yeah, no. But do you ever wish? I mean, you went to college to teach. Yeah. No, I don't. I want to be home with my kids. That's I mean, why I'm here. That's why I want to be with TJ because okay. he wanted. A mom just stay home with okay. kids. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever have you ever lost it? Did you ever get mad? Yeah. I mean, I yell, I, I yell at I yell at TJ. I do this for you. Yeah. 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 I don't mean it like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mad. Okay. And you scream and you yell and you stomp around. You might throw a, 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 a you know a, a rag or something. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Of course I get. It's called a fit of rage. Yeah. I've had plenty of them, yes, I don't mean I like I've tried them, but like not. Remember when we talked about this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a lot of these are consistent with what we've seen before. Okay. With kids being hurt. Yeah. Not by falls. Not by running into things. Okay. This is not her fault on travel. Okay. This is not her falling on her toe. Okay. Just like you said. You know that. Just like you said, <coughs> this isn't from her falling while she's walking. Okay. There's reasons that she has all these. Okay. And I, we think you know why she has them. Listen, okay. Hannah has been abused. No doubt about it. And it's the 
God our Father. Have you grabbed her ears? Yeah, probably. What do you mean, probably? I've never, no, I don't, I don't grab, I know, I don't have a hit for her. Listen, you, you are at home for 12 plus hours a day with a kid that's not yours and three other ones. You cannot tell me <laughs> that does that does yeah. not drive you bonkers. I mean, yeah. I don't know if it's a rage. Like, All it takes is, that, that's, the, that's the only thing that can explain All it. Takes it takes is one or two. A fit of rage. If you lost your temper, you lost your temper. It's not like you're, these kids come over so you can hurt them. I don't, we don't think that. I'm sitting here a demented okay. woman who's like, yeah, but they're over here so I can beat the shit out of her. Yeah. It's not what we're saying. No. A fit of rage. Okay. And, and that's what's done this. What's going on here? Tell us about it. You've been honest with us so far. Yeah. Why stop? Tell us about it. Oh. Whatever you're thinking, just speak it. I really don't know what to say. Start, start with these. How did you get here? I didn't do that. I don't know. Okay. I really didn't do that. I don't know. How does this happen? I slapped her upside the head. With what? My hand. Open, closed? Yeah, open. Well, what, what caused that? She took all of the, I don't know why she was in trouble, she took all the ketchup out and squirted it into the toilet while it wasn't working. That's frustrating. And I'm like, yeah. 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 What else had she done that day? Is this like a culmination of things building up? She did. What day was that? Yeah. This week? week? This week? This week? Early yeah. this week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I didn't think that hurt her. I really didn't. Well, I think not. I mean, kids are tough. They're not, you know, they're, they, trust me, you know, yeah. as well as anybody else does, you're very resilient and, and you're not, and you're not going to know. Tell us what that was. Chin. I did, I don't, I really did not hit her on the chin. I don't know. saying anything. Right, yeah, I don't. Does she talk back to you? No. She doesn't? Not one bit. Does she not listen to you? Like, is she, if she, she actually does listen. If she's watching she's a listening. show and you tell her to do something, does she not listen? That's you get, how do you get her attention when she doesn't listen? And I've got to listen to Buddy. Does she know you well? No, she eats great. She eats all day long. Then tell us what happened here. Tell us about that. This was not a fall in the driveway. It's not. We know what this is consistent with. Yeah. Look at me. We do this for a living. No, I know. Okay? I know. This is not the first three-year-old that we're staring pictures about, okay? We know exactly what caused this, okay? Exactly. It's not a fall. And you know what caused this. Just like you knew what caused this. Okay? Oh, so what caused this? I smacked her on the chin for doing it. That was the same thing. Right. So this is the same incident. Yeah. Tell us about this. Because this is not a smack. I just want to tell you right now. This is not a deep bone contusion from an open handed smack. Okay? Knowing that. I didn't. No, I listen, listen, listen. Like listen. That. Knowing that we know that. What happened here? The same thing. It was the same incident. Tell us, though, what happened to this Wait, with these specific bruises. When she, looked, I caught her doing the ketchup, you know, I took it away, and I put her on the body, because I think she had to go pee anyway. I said, Hannah, you can't do the ketchup. I, I, I just slapped her on the side of the head and went like that. Close? Yeah, like that. How many times? Don't say once. Because yeah. it could slip bruise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, does he give you permission to, to discipline? Yeah. I mean, spank and stuff? Okay. Yeah. I don't really spank. I don't yeah. even know why I was mad about that. So these were close fists like uppercuts? Yeah. Okay. And this was an open handed smack? Was it really open handed? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, the bruise is on the chest. Honestly, listen, listen. Now I believe you. Do you see the pattern here? Yes. Deny, deny, deny. deny. How about this right one down here? I did not touch her chest. I'm definitely telling you the most positive truth. I did not touch her chest. Okay. 
So look, but I wasn't mad at that. Let's let's let's, let's look at this. Okay. And we also oh, sorry to interrupt. We, we also know exactly what these are. Yeah. They're in all these cases they're consistent. I mean, you can literally take a hundred of them and put them up on the board right here, and they're all going to have the same exact bruises. And anyone who knows what they're talking about and what they're looking at will say, this is this, this is this, this is this, this is this. That's up to you, okay? We, we want to know what happened. Yeah. We're going to pause. I'm going to give the jury a 15-minute restroom break. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm noting it's 1015, um, state and defense. When we come back, I'll have you back in about 15 seconds just to catch what might have while I was talking or whatever. Um, but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we we'll give you a restroom break. Please leave your notepads. Please be very diligent about your admonitions. If anybody does attempt to talk to you about this case, you need to report it to me. That includes yourselves. That includes anybody else. No researching and so forth, okay? So about 25 uh, uh, after 10, 10.30ish, uh, we'll be looking for you to, uh, to, to get back to watching this, okay? All right, let's go for it.